Hi, it's Imanago. So I'm doing this makeup tutorial today and I'm using my Lorac Pro Palette in this video. So this is what the eyeshadows in this palette looks like. I'm using the entire top row plus this corner eyeshadow. So I'm doing a very dramatic smoky eye and it's mainly matte. I only have a tiny tiny bit of shimmer right in the inner corner but other than that it's a completely matte look. And then I just paired it up with some um, glossy nude lips and a full face um, face. <laughs> and I do apologize about my nails, they are a little bit chipped, so don't mind that, I need to redo them. But yeah, let me zoom you guys in so you can see the look up close. So here you go. So I'm really loving this glamorous, really dark, sultry, smoky eye. But yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say except for please thumbs up this video if you like it and remember to watch in high definition. And I guess that's all, so here comes the tutorial. Okay, so I already went in with my um, eye drops to make my eyes nice and bright. And now I'm going to use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So first I warm it up between my fingers and then I apply it all over my face except for on the eyelid. I do apply it underneath the eyes. So I did just scrub off my spray tan, most of it, um, this morning. So I'm pretty much back to my old pale self. I am however going to go get a new spray tan in two days. But for now I'm going to use my Opal foundation from Derma Blend. And you guys know how I like to do this. I just dab it out with my sponge. The other day I bought two German children's books and I'm planning on reading those because I am going to study German over the holiday and my German is not super great so I definitely need to practice I am going to do just a little more foundation so once I have my foundation all done I'm going to move on to concealer I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 and I'm just applying this underneath my eyes to conceal and to highlight and I blend it out with a smaller sponge. And as always, I set my under eye concealer with a mixture of Ben Nye Banana Powder and White Powder from Born Pretty Store. And don't be stingy with this, okay? Because this is the real MVP. So then I just take a skin toned powder from Born Pretty Store and I just go ahead and set my foundation. And you guys know I like a lot of powder. Okay, so next I'm going to remove this foundation off of my lips and I'm just using a little piece of tissue. And then I use my Vanilla Coke Lip Smacker to hydrate my lips. As my bronzer, I'm going to use Nars Laguna and I just go in and contour the usual places. And I always contour my nose as well. And I always blend out my contour as well. So for blush today, I'm going to use Nars Deep Throat Blush. I love this blush, it's one of my all-time favorites. And then finally, I'm going to apply some Nars Albatross Highlighter. Just right here on the top of the cheekbones. And on the cupid's bow. And a little bit down the nose. Okay, and before I forget, I'm going to apply my Too Faced Lip Injection. I have tried this once before and I didn't think it really did anything other than make my lips burn. But it was really expensive even for this little tube. So, I mean, I want to use it if I can. So let's try it out again. It does smell good though. It smells like strawberries. And in the meantime, while that is working, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I just brush them through with a spoolie and I'm going to use my dip brow from Anastasia, um, I mean Anastasia today. My color is in soft brown and I should probably zoom you guys in. There we go. I can really feel my lips burning now. Oh, this stuff is no joke. And once I'm done with my brow 
the brow thing I just go ahead and blend out the front of my eyebrows So for my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use the Lorac um, behind the scenes eye primer that comes with the Lorac Pro palette So I've actually never tried this primer out before But this is what it looks like on my finger So it's quite a yellow toned primer So um, I'm just going to apply it So it seems quite nice, it dries once you work it into your eyelid Okay, so now we are going to use the Lorac Pro Palette. So with my Urban Decay Naked Brush, I'm going to take the color called Cream. And this is going to be my brow bone highlight. And this is just a very light matte color. It just has like a hint of yellow, but it's almost white. Then I'm going to take the color Moth with my MAC 224 brush and this color is just going to be our transition color so I'm applying it right um, above the crease right on like the lower part of the brow bone and I think this color is absolutely beautiful now I'm going to take the color Sable with my Urban Decay Naked 3 eyeshadow brush and this color is going right in the crease so right below the mauve color and I'm going to go back in and blend with some more of the mauve color just to make sure it transitions very nicely so now I'm taking a little bit of black track fluid line from MAC on my ring finger and I'm going to apply that really close to my last line to create a deep dark base well, a black base and you honestly only need such a small amount of the black track because it's very pigmented and a little goes a long way and I'm going to use my pinky to blend out the color in the inner corner then I'm going to take the color espresso and I'm going to pack this color on top of black, um, black track and I did get a little bit of fallout so I'm just going to brush that away and then I go back in with some espresso on a blending brush and I just blend out the crease and I go ahead and do the same on the other eye so I pack on espresso and once I have it packed on I go back in and blend and then finally I'm going to take some of the black color and I'm going to apply this super close to my lashes and I go back in with our mauve transition color and just blend everything out and just make sure everything is very nice and smoky so once I'm done with that I'm going to mix the color uh, white and light pink and this is going in the inner corner to brighten up the eyes and with my um, pinky I'm going to take the color nude this is the only shimmery color we're going to use and I'm going to pop that right on top this is just to add a little bit of shimmer in the inner corner just to really bring out the eyes so now with my Born Pretty Store brush I'm going to take the color taupe and this is going on the lower last line and then finally for eyeshadows I'm going to take the black once more and just deepen up the outer corner of my lower last line and kind of connect it to the other eyelid so for my eyeliner I'm going to use my Estee Lauder pure color eyeliner in the color black and black and I'm going to start out with my top waterline this always feels so uncomfortable and I also go ahead and do my lower waterline and I'm going to curl with my Shu Urmura eyelash curler And I apologize about the lighting, uh, the sun just went away. And now the sun is back. And now it's gone again. Anyways, I'm going to use these two mascaras for my um, eyelashes today. I'm using my Estee Lauder mascara and my Lancome mascara. So I'm going to start out with my Estee Lauder mascara and just do one coat. And actually I was supposed to do liquid eyeliner before this I'm just going to do it afterwards and then I go in and do a coat of my Lancome so I don't know if you guys can tell but I have started to use a less serum on my eyelashes and I think my lashes look 
really good. Unfortunately, I'm wearing all this black eyeshadow today, so you can't really see my lashes all that well. But from what I can see up close in this mirror, I really think my lashes are looking nice. So now I'm going to do my liquid eyeliner. I'm going to use my e.l.f. black liquid eyeliner. So let me see if I can do this without fucking up. So I just did a little bit of eyeliner on this eye. I hope you can see the difference. I didn't do a wing or anything. I just extended the inner corner a little bit. So let's see if I can match with the other eye. Okay, so now I have my eyeliner on. So for falsies, I'm going to use my curly lash from Velour together with my duo clear adhesive. So while I wait for my eyelash to dry, I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows again. I love doing this. <laughs> but seriously, I'm doing this to get rid of any eyeshadow or powder or anything like that, you know? So I'm going to apply my lashes now. So while this eyelash dries, I'm going to do the lips. So I'm going to remove um, this Too Faced lip injection stuff with some tissue. And honestly, I don't think it did anything other than really hurt. But I mean, you guys can be the judge of that. Do you think my lips look bigger and plumber and all that? Because I don't. <laughs> but anyways, with these eyes, I definitely want to do a nude lip. So I'm starting out with my Jordana Tawny um, Easy Liner for lips. And I'm just going to outline my lips. And then blend it out. And the same on the top. And as my nude lipstick, I'm going to use this Estee Lauder Vanilla Truffle Pure Color Lipstick. And then I'm going to use my Essence Cinderella Lip Gloss in the color Sing Sweet Nightingale. And because the eyes are so mad, I really want to do a glossy lip. So I'm just applying this on top. And to finish off my face, I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus. So let's do this. And you guys, I actually completely forgot to apply lower last mascara. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Oh my god, you guys, I just realized that my eyeshadow has creased. I'm just going to go ahead and fix that real quick. I am such a mess today. I apologize you guys, I totally didn't even see this before just now. But I'm fixing it, a little eyeshadow will just, you know, completely erase it. So no big worries. So now you guys, I think we are finally done. Okay, so this is the final look. So I really hope you guys like this Lorac Pro Palette tutorial. I'm thinking of maybe doing another Lorac Pro Palette tutorial where I use like more of these shimmery shades. So let me know if you would be interested in that. So of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. So take care and bye bye.